Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to zero, how to take away the zeroed out slots because you guys have the ability to pen yourselves into any games. And I like to zero out the slots for ease of assigning when I know we have a lot of games coming in so we can look at the big picture. So, here's how you do it. And you have to be very explicit with the filters. Don't create new ones, you're just going to edit old ones. So, here we go. Right now, I'm currently in the future games with issues, okay? So, I'm going to look through the schedule and I already have and I'm going to figure out a game that I want. I know I want to take a PAL game. So I'm going to go to my PAL filter. Okay, the game I want is on the 16th. Here it is right here, Diamond in the Pines 2 at 1 and 315. I am going to look at the game numbers, 600 and 601. So now I'm going to go into new I'm not creating a new filter. Okay, the game number in range is 600, comma, 601. I'm going to get results. And there are the two games. Now, from here you have to go into mass update. Okay, we're going to click add remove slots. And all we're going to do is add the default slots. From there, we just, now if you click that, you see it's a bunch of, this is how I remove it, okay, but that doesn't matter. You are simply adding default slots. Make sure you click that. Begin status change, okay. It was done. And there I am, okay. I am now able to pend myself into it. If you guys have any questions on this, feel free to let me know. Please stay within the two-week edit window, okay. So today's April 14th. That means you have till April 18th to pend yourselves into any games. Tomorrow will be the 5th. You have till the 19th. The next day will be the 6th. You have till the 20th. Once again, any questions, guys, feel free to shoot me a call, email, or a text.